Hi everyone, today we will build an image gallery with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In this application, there will be a search box and the results will be displayed according to the value entered in the input. Let's get started. I will share these pictures with you. First of all, we create a div called container. There will be two divs in this div. In the first div, there will be inputs and uh, in the second div, there will be pictures. Search box. I use the font Awesome Library for this icon. An input text. Now let's create the div where the pictures are. There will be there will be data names in these divs, data names to search with JavaScript. Data name is Godfather. And we add descriptions. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Search interstellar. Matrix and pianist Scarface and the other div Star Wars Gladiator and Shawshank Redemption. And Glad Gladiator. Redemption. Okay, now let's move on to CSS. And first, margin and padding zero, mm -hmm. and box size in brother box, and font family, poppins, and sans sheriff. We choose body, background color, dark gray, 
Add a style to the container. Position relative. And minimum height. 100 vapor height. And max width. 1000 pixel and width. 100 persons. Margin is zero from top and bottom and auto from right and left. Padding 40 pixel, 40 pixel from top and bottom and 20 pixel from right and left. Now let's add style to the div where the input is. Position relative. Eight, 45 pixel max width 400 pixel margin zero from the top auto from the right and left and 40 pixel from the bottom and we choose input position absolute eight 100% and reads 100% there will be no outline and borders and outline none background color will be dark gray okay padding 0 from the top 15 pixel from the right 0 from the bottom and 45 pixel from the left and color white and finally border radius will be 6 pixel okay we add style to the icon position absolute Z index sec two colors sorry and top fifty percent left 15 pixel and the right axis will be transform translate by transform translate by minus 50 percent to fully center align and font size 20 pixel Ah, sorry. Okay. Now we add style to the div with the picture and description. With 100% display flex, justify content center and flex, wrap, wrap. And image, image containers, position relative, height, 330 pixel and width, 240 pixel. And border radius, 6 pixel. Overflow hidden and margin 8 pixel. Now we add style to the image tag image containers 8 and width 100%. Okay, row the radius 6 pixel. 
and cursor pointers. And transition will be 0 0.2 seconds for this hover effect and cursor pointer. Image hover. Now the image will grow to 1.055 when you hover to the image container. Yeah, it's okay. Finally, we add style to the description by selecting the hash six tag. Position absolute. There will be 10 pixel space from bottom and left. pixel and bottom 10 pixel and color white and font size 12 pixel 14 pixel okay and font weight 400 and the first letter of the font will be capitalized. <laughs> Sorry, text transform. Okay. Yes, it was a nice design. Now let's move on to JavaScript. First, we define the variables. What we need is input and image container inside the search box. And image. We are adding a event listener to search box. We will use key up events. The key up event is sent to an element when the user releases a key on the keyboard. The parameter is going to be event. And key up and event. Let's check it out. As you can see, whichever key we press on the keyboard, it shows as the key on the console screen. Let's continue. If the key we press is enter, we define a variable. Search value. This variable will be the value of the search box. The other variable will convert the value from search value to call lowercase. Value is equal to search value to lowercase. Now let's loop all pictures with for each. If sorry, if value is equal to image datasets name. Dataset name, data name defined in HTML and return image style display 
the lock. But the other pictures will be deleted from the screen. Okay, let's test it. Now we are adding a divot listener to search box again. Okay. Uh, if value from search box not equal to empty nothing will happen return now let's loop all the pictures again with for each display lock now let's test it now When I search correctly, the Morris appear on the screen, but when I do a wrong search of an empty, there are no results. That's what we wanted anyway. Today, we made a simple image gallery and added a search bar to it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video.